These are my everyday carry multi-tools. All right, we're gonna to start today's video off with a question, especially for you ladies. How many of you carry a multi-tool with you every day? If you do, comment below. Yes, I carry a multi-tool. Tell me which one it is and how often you've used it and if you think it's worth carrying. Now that we have the question out of the way, I'm going to tell you why I think every woman should carry a multi-tool with her every single day. All right, for those of you who watched my channel and entered the giveaway two weeks ago for that level eight luggage and their packing cubes, today is the day I'm gonna be picking the winner. So stay with me till the end of the video so you can find out if you won. A lot of times we think multi-tools are for guys, that they're tools that they would use every day and it's just not something we would use. That's not a knife. That's a knife. But I'm telling you, for over a decade, I have carried a multi-tool with me every single day and I'm happy that I have it, but I have a variety of them and I'm gonna go through those with you so you can make an educated decision on why you would choose a multi-tool for your everyday carry. As you know, there are a ton of multi-tools out there. I haven't examined every single one and each one that I carry, I carry for a reason and I'm gonna let you know what each of those are and what the reasons are for that. It doesn't mean I haven't tried to explore others, but right now these are what I've settled on, so let's get started. For many of us, a multi-tool is something like this, a pretty big, hefty, uh, cumbersome, so to speak, a uh, tool that yes, is very functional, but has a lot of things on it that I wouldn't necessarily use every day. Uh, this one I've had for a long time and I carried it as a backpacker. I used to be a volunteer ranger in Desolation Wilderness and it was always good to have a multi-tool on me. Um, so this is one that I've had for a long time. I don't do as an everyday carry multi-tool, but when I'm out, camping or backpacking, this is the tool that I carry because it does have so many different tools on it that are very useful. For one, it has these pliers and a wire cutter here that come in really, really handy for even here you'll see it actually has grooves to grab a hold of a nut or a bolt type of thing. Haven't used that as much. I have used these little tweezers to bend wire and to um, hold things that are hot, that type of thing. So they have come in handy for camping, not necessarily an everyday carry, but they have a lot of different tools on them. As you can see, this tool has a variety of saws, some Phillips head flathead screwdrivers, as well as a basic knife. Another saw here, like I said, I don't use those as much, but if I needed to cut some sticks in the woods, I would do it. It has a can opener here as well, so this allow me to open up a can, as well as a tiny Phillips head and a pair of scissors that I use all the time. So these come in handy when I'm camping or backpacking. Each of these blades has a little notch here that allows you to open it up safely. And then the only way to close it then is to pull down on this little notch and that folds it up safely so you don't cut yourself. And then it has probably the thing that I've used the most on this multi-tool, um, a pair of scissors, which for really for any multi-tool, this is the thing I probably use the most. Again, not something that I carry every day, but something when I'm backpacking, hiking, um, even car camping that I'll take this one with me. This one also comes with its own case that you can actually slip a belt through. So if you wanted to slip it through a belt or even put it on your backpack this way, it's really handy. I like this little sheath. It just keeps it protected and right at hand. So that is the advantage of this larger multi-tool. The second multi-tool I carry um, is this one. Now it doesn't have the pliers and it's not quite as big. I'll show you here. Um, in size relativity, it's not quite half, but it feels quite a bit lighter because it doesn't have as many tools. The reason why I carry this particular tool is when I'm hiking um, or out walking by myself, I wanted a multi-tool that I could fit easily into my hand. So if I had to strike a punch, um, this is gonna give me some impact power. This fits in nicely right here. And if I needed to defend myself against animal or human, I had some sort of, uh, piece of tool here that would allow me to use it without having to fiddle around and open something up. This means with my hand here, I can gouge or scrape with this tool, this pry tool here. It's also a bottle opener. Um, it also acts as 
um, just a pry tool to pull nails and things out. You'll see here it has that little groove. So kind of handy. It also has a belt clip here. So if I'm slipping it into a pocket, it's right there accessible. I can grab it out quickly and have that right in my hand. And again, it fits comfortably in my hand. So I don't feel like there's something like sticking around in my hand that would hurt me if I had to drive a punch with it or anything like that. It does have several tools with it. So it doesn't have as many tools as my previous tool. It doesn't have anything like screwdrivers and stuff, but it does have a nice sharp knife here. It also has this file that is uh, more coarse on this side and finer on this side, but it also has a way that if you wanted to uh, scrape out some wood or something, you could use it for that. It also has a nice little exacto knife with a replaceable blade here. And of course my favorite, which is a good pair of scissors. So these are my favorite tools on this one. Also, in order to close this, it has a locking mechanism right here that prevents you from closing it on yourself by accident and you push that and that will allow you to then close the scissors um, nicely. Yeah, you do have to push on the blade, but they're not that sharp, but they go in nice, works out great. They all work with this little locking mechanism that once it's um, pressed hard enough, you'll be able to close this safely without cutting yourself. So this is the multi-tool I carry when I'm hiking um, by myself especially, but pretty much anytime I'm hiking, this is a great self-defense tool for women. Think about this one. If these two formats are still too big for you, then they have smaller format ones like this one here. As you can see, this next multi-tool is significantly smaller than the first two, but it still has a couple of great gadgets. Much like the first tool, you're going to open this up and find out that you have a pair of pliers and a, couple, a little wire cutter here. Obviously much smaller, but still something you might be able to use. And that folds back down into this. And then of course it has a bottle opener here and a tiny little spring that's gonna, a uh, little hook here that's gonna allow you to put it on a keychain if you'd like. It has a couple of different things like a tiny small knife here, as well as another knife. Um, I think this is more of a box cutter. If you look at this, the angle of it, that's more of what I would use it for. Um, even though I probably just would pull open the knife, but that is one of the um, knives in here. Now, it doesn't have a locking mechanism to prevent you from closing it, so you'll need to be careful. This will just close up on its own. It also has my favorite, which is a pair of scissors. And of course, it also has a couple of little screwdrivers here. It's a larger flathead and a small little Phillips head screwdriver. You know, if you just need to use it to tighten something up, that works great. And this one has a little nail file on it as well. And again, because it is not, uh, it has a knife on it, it is not TSA compliant. So you cannot take this on a flight with you, but a great little keychain, small um, pocket knife if you like to carry a little more tool on you without um, having the bulk. Now, all three of these multi-tools that I just showed you all had a knife, which means you're not gonna be able to carry these in your carry-on on a plane. I have taken these with me on trips when I'm done checked baggage and I've stuffed them in a pair of socks and into a pair of shoes to make sure that they're you know safely tucked away. And you are allowed to take them that way. But if you're taking carry-on only, you can't take any of these tools because they have a knife. Now let's move on to a couple of other tools that I carry almost every day and then I'll show you what I carry while I'm flying. All right, this tiny little tool right here, I carry it every single day. It's on my keys here, you see it in my house. And what I do, you'll see here, it's tiny, very tiny, very lightweight. I carry this every day on my keychain when I'm taking a walk or anything. It's a great small multi-tool, nothing to open, but immediately I have something that if I need it for self-defense to have a tool out to use to scrape or even this I could use to poke something hard. And it is a bottle opener as well as a screwdriver and a nail puller. You've got Phillips and flathead screwdriver heads here and a little hole to keep it on your keychain. And this is something I carry every single day. Um, and it just fits on a little keychain. So that's really on my keychain every single day is this little um, pry bar, screwdriver, multi-tool. 
Also, because it doesn't have a knife, they've never taken this from me at TSA. I have this on my keychain, and I've never had this taken away. I've never even had to take it out. So this is another great multi-tool. If you are a carry-out only traveler to take with you, um, again, just simple, simple things. I'll fix a screw, pop open a can of soda, pull out a nail, that type of thing. Just a nice little multi-tool to have. All right, this next multi-tool is also TSA approved to carry on an airline. However, if you're not TSA pre-check, they're gonna make you pull this out and they're gonna make you put it in a bin. So just remember, if you're not TSA pre-check, you can carry it, they're gonna make you pull it out. And it's because most of the time, some of the TSA agents just don't know about it and they see some sort of multi-tool and it's not till you pull it out and show them, hey, there's no knife on this, that it's okay. Again, TSA approved for this one. It also has a pair of pliers on it right here and wire cutters here. Uh, it also folds back up into itself and it also has a carabiner. So if you want to hook it onto a belt loop or purse or keychain, you can do that. It has my favorite tools on here, like a pair of scissors, just like this. And it also has um, a little screwdriver and a nail file. Now, because of that, it is not having a knife anywhere on this and that is why it's TSA approved. It also has a teeny tiny pair of tweezers on here so that if you needed to pick out a splinter or a tick or something, that would work out really well. So I'm sure many of you ladies are thinking, I don't wanna carry any of those things. They just, I don't want them in my pocket. I don't want them in my purse. They're, you know, I may not use any of that. Well, this next multi-tool is one I carry every single day with me. Well, besides this little one. Um, and it's because it looks like a little credit card right here. And it has a variety of tools in it. It has a pair of scissors, which is great to have. It also has a glass nail file. Nice, it has a coarse and fine side to that. It has a tiny, tiny, again, pair of tweezers. So again, you know, ticks, splinters. It has this little a tool that has Phillips and flathead for tiny little screws and also to use it as a pry bar to pry something open. It also has a tiny little toothpick. It also has a teeny, tiny little pen. And yes, it does work. I've used it. And last but not least, it has a magnifier here. So if I wanna read something that's really small, I'll be able to pull this up with a magnifier and be able to read what I need to read. And I'll tell you, that's probably the thing I use the most on this, which is why I carry it every day. Because when I get to someplace and I'm looking, even with my glasses on, I cannot read this and I need this. And this allows me to be able to read, even without my glasses on, I can pull this out and say, okay, that's got sodium benzoate or whatever. And, or, you know, some sort of instructions for medicine or a tool, that type of thing. This is one of those things that comes in really handy. This particular multi-tool, again, is TSA approved. I keep this right inside my wallet sometimes or inside a little pocket in my purse, so I always have it. They've never asked me to remove it. They've never even looked at it. They've never blinked an eye. The only one they've ever looked at or had me pull out was this little one here, which is also TSA approved. But again, I think because it looks more like a pocket knife, they make you pull it out. So just throw it in one of the little bowls at the TSA and they'll be fine. But this one, they never asked me to pull it out or anything. And a lot of handy things on this. So this is my favorite to carry every day, along with my little um, prying tool here. These are my everyday carries. And then the rest, depending on what I'm doing, I'll switch them out. But I do think it's important that Everyone carries some sort of multi-tool around. Let me know below which one of these is your favorite that you would carry, or if you have something different that you carry, let us know, because all of us want to see if there's a multi-tool out there that's better. So leave that in the comments below. All right, as promised, I am going to reveal the two winners of the Level 8 luggage, the 20-inch carry-on and packing cubes. But before I do, I need to thank the partner for this giveaway, which is Level 8. They've been a great partner of my channel for a long time. They were the ones that reached out and said, hey, you wanna do a giveaway? And I said, sure, I love giving away free stuff. So I would like you to please reach out to them as well. There is still the link and the code. They're gonna extend my discount code, the extra 10% off. So find that in the video description so you can get yourself something great for your next travel adventure. There's a lot of stuff on sale right now, so go and take a look and add the extra 10% off. It's like a no-brainer, go do it. All right, with no further ado, here are the winners that I picked earlier. 
Are you ready? The first winner is Julie Joy Williams. Julie Joy Williams, you will be contacted by me so I can get your information and get that to level eight. And the other winner is Panda Bear. Panda Bear, I will be reaching out to you as well. I want to thank all of you for entering the contest or the giveaway. I really, really appreciate all of you watching and following me each week. It is something that I look forward to every week is bringing you a new video. So thank you for that. Again, thank you to Level 8. And as always, guys, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. I'll see you in the next video.